New Year's Eve celebrations in Rio de Janeiro. Wear white. The clothes need to be new. For women, it's a white beach dress. For men, white beach clothes. And they have fun with the color of their undergarments. We decided it would be fun to correspond the colors of the undergarments with the seven chakras to make a little yoga slant here. So the first chakra is the base chakra. The color is red. And in Rio, you wear red underwear if your New Year's wish is for passion or love, maybe even passionate love. And our pose that we did with this was easy pose, which is what I'm in now. If easy pose is too easy for you, you can take it up to flowering lotus, which is here. Or if you are flexible, you may want to go all the way to Padmasana or Full Lotus. When you're working on the first chakra, you like to feel where your body makes contact with the ground underneath you and feel fully supported. The base chakra is about physical survival, being grounded. And as we move on to the second chakra, the color is orange. So you would wear orange undergarments if your New Year's wish is for professional success. Our yoga pose for the second chakra is goddess. Place your feet about 45 degree angle, comfortable wide stance. I like to do this mudra. If you like, you can take your hands down to your thighs and stretch out your shoulders. We had some fun with this one in class. We decided it would be fun to put a little dance into it. Play with it. Yoga's supposed to be fun too. For the third chakra, the color for your undergarments is yellow or gold. You wear yellow or gold undergarments if your New Year's wish is for prosperity. Our yoga for the third chakra is the Hakini Mudra. You touch your fingertips and the tips of your thumbs together. You don't need to press, just touch. This promotes concentration. It integrates the left and right hemispheres of the brain. It promotes intuition and is recommended for a lot of management programs and for better memory. It also connects your third chakra to your sixth chakra. Moving on, the fourth chakra, the color is green. Green underwear or undergarments is what you wear if your wish is for good health. For our yoga pose, we're going to do reverse table and reverse plank. Reverse table is a little easier. To come out, just sit down. 
If you want to take it up to reverse plank, straighten your legs, and up you go again. To come out, just sit down. <clears throat> For the fifth chakra, the color is blue. And you wear blue undergarments if your wish is for harmony in your life. Our yoga pose for the fifth chakra is fish in easy pose or fish in hero. I'm trying to keep these poses really accessible. We took it up a little more complicated in class the other night, but I want everyone to be able to participate who watches the video. So I try to keep it beginner, maybe just a little bit of intermediate in there, but for fish in easy pose, let me turn sideways. Just put your hands down Drop your head back. To come out, just bring your head back up. If that's easy and not a challenge, to make it just a little bit more challenging, You can sit in Seated Hero, put your hands down, drop your head back. You just inhale as you come back up. For the sixth and seventh chakra, the color is purple. And you would wear purple undergarments if your wish is for inspiration. One of our poses for sixth and seventh chakra is eye palming. You could put your hands in prayer pose and start rubbing them together. You get some heat going. And then palm your eyes. Just cup your hands. Put them over your eyes. Let's repeat that. One last time. The last pose we're going to do is pose of a child with our foreheads supported by one fist stacked on top of the other. And while we're doing this one, silently chant OM.
That's the last of our physical postures. Just in case anyone's interested in the Bija Mantra that goes with all the chakras, to get all the energy flowing, I'll chant that just a couple of times. Lam Vam Ram Yam Ham Om Lam Vam Ram Yam Ham Om I appreciate y'all tuning in, watching my video. If you need to find me, I'm at CarmenCooperYoga.com. I'd appreciate it if you check me out on Pinterest. If you would like and subscribe to my videos on YouTube, or check out my website, CarmenCooperYoga.com. Namaste.